Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, ladies and gentlemen. In the last video, we... Well, we, we were already in the Outer Continent, but we went to this village of dwarves called Condor... Condo... Condi... Piti... something something? Then they told us to go to... And then the dwarves told us to go to this forest down in the east, southeast. And we found this mage village, and apparently there's other mages, like sentient mages. Hello. Different language. I'll get to that confusing scene later. <gasps> Is he the one who came here with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Thanks. Um, what are y'all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground... Yes, our friends are buried under here. But why? That's because... I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend, who knows lots of things, told me that this was what death was and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's gonna come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm gonna wash him off in the pond. What's he talking about? Was it a disease? Was he hurt? Tell me, why? That's because... I HATE YOU AND YOUR STUPID freaking CLIFFHANGERS! God damn. Today, you want to eat too? Chocobo egg, very delicious. We're never gonna give it to you! Um, can I talk to these guys? Is she with you? Can, can you take him somewhere else? Okay, fine, you're just gonna repeat that dialogue? Okay, I'm gonna go back outside then. Ugh! This place is weird! Right, I guess I can go this way? Or I can also follow, um, Visitor, not Invader. I guess this is Dagger. Um, excuse me, why are you here? This is our village. Yeah! You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about using us. You mean about Vivi? That's not true. It's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight. Uh, are you telling the truth? Lies! All humans are liars. You're lying, but it's true. I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening. Where am I? Uh, I guess uh, there's only one way to go, so that's this house. Hello! Oh, it's an inn! Uh, this is an inn, but we're not ready to check you in. Fine! You can be selfish! I'm just gonna go this way and find the rest of my party members. Ooh! This must be the shop that sells sundries. Oh, I, I guess the, no, the, the door is here. Hello! Um, welcome, can I help you? Buy, sell. Oh yeah, you can. You've got a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, no, actually not a lot of stuff to sell, but whatever, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm just gonna continue holding on to my gill Like the no- like the selfish little Scrooge that I am Oh, hi Dagger Oh, it's a Dane What's up Dagger? I was telling them why we're here Why are we here? It's a Dane? It's just a joke, jeez, don't get mad Can't you see I'm trying to make them understand? What is a joke? Is it scary? Something funny, right Dagger? You don't seem so bad Cause you're here to fight the bad guys, that's right you're unbelievable, you know that? Uh, hey, where's Vivi? Uh, I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna go look for him. Uh, hey, Dagger! Ugh, not again. I know where he went. He went this way. Oh! Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? I guess I'll go chase him. Cuz we gotta learn. Uh, I don't know where he went. Okay. Well, it's, it's too dangerous to go out by myself. Okay, so he didn't actually go out. So, I've gotta go look for Vivi in other places. Oh gosh. Is he in the inn? Is he, is he in here? Uh, yes. Vivi? What's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane, it's, it's, it's nothing. Did something bad happen? Well, the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. <laughs> I'm hungry. What? This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right? Yeah. 
I don't blame you. We've been walking around nonstop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. What about you, Zidane? Well, I guess we could rest. Yeah, we'll call it a day. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious! I wouldn't worry too much. But he's trying to figure out something for himself. Well, think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. But what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe. Just maybe. He'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah. A place where he belongs. Hey, Sedane. When you said home... What's the matter? Can fall asleep? How yeah, about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go. Again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Sidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace. The place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents? The house where he was born? One day, the man left the home with his, his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. The blue light? Yeah. He thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. The ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happen along the way. Alright, we can skip ahead. Nah, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So, he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think what his father did when he came home? Opened him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I can call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace, but he already has a home. Maybe. It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. Hello. Nice to see you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends have stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a stop. It varies a little. But most of us stop moving one year after production. No. I haven't told anyone else about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. And maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Oh, poor thing. Oh, morning again. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you. What's up, Dagger? Sedane, someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Kaji Pizzi said there was a place called Sanctuary where entry is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. Right. Uh, oh, where's Vivi? No. Vivi says he's staying behind. Wait for me! Vivi? 
Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I get to spend some quality time together. What did you say? You don't can leave me here. I starve. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about you. Let's go, everyone, to Kanda PT. PT. I I still don't know how to pronounce that. And to the sanctuary that lies beyond. But uh, and I'm gonna go back to that Moogle there and save. So I'll be right back, ladies and gents. We're back. Oh, hello. I don't like the sun because it makes me hot. But the light is pretty, isn't it? Especially through the leaves. All right. Say goodbye, Mage Village. We'll probably never see you again. We're gonna head out to the overworld now, and she said to the north. Where was it? To the north, north, northwest? Is it? Oh, no, it's a sanctuary. So I, I think we got to go back to Kondi PT to see whether we can gain entrance to the sanctuary. Because I remember the dwarves saying that that we had no entry past a certain point. So I'm guessing we've got to head back that way. Uh oh. Well, that was a total waste of time. Right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna investigate Kondi PT again. Just so that, uh, cause they said there was what, was what, the northwest? Yeah, it's like there's a whole thing past that. Uh oh. And we're done with that. It's just two goblin mages, nothing special. Uh, we're gonna use some potions. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah. Okay, still got a lot of potions. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven's got a plan for you. Okay, we gotta go back here. I think we've gotta go back here. I'm not too sure. Let's go back in here and see what, and let's just look around, have a look around. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. So. The sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who let us through. So a dwarf is blocked way out from shop on right side. No one can get through. No can get through. Huh. Well, let's try to go as far as we can. Yep, so I guess I gotta just gotta wander around in the village for a while and talk to people. Ready ho. Did you meet the Pintiat? Yes we did. Yes we did. And it's another video of my horrible, horrible, I don't know what accent this is, Irish accent or something, I don't know. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna ask around. Jenny, somebody lost this, you know? Yeah, she is. I guess I just gotta... Oh? Oh, wait, no, hold on. I thought, I thought those two dwarves were gone. Say, I wanna get through here. Never! Only those who receive the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to His Holiness. And where is His Holiness? I don't know where he is. Speak to His Holiness. Okay. I guess we gotta go look for his holiness. Open quotes. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm very gassy today. Hello. Can't the PT is him to heap of good food? That's your favorite. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I don't know. I'm just answering questions. I don't know. Uh, whoop, whoop, what's here? Did you see that? I could get chicken mute. But it's never fault, I'm so cool like I like. Oh, come off it. I was trying to, I was, I thought, I was wondering what was that. Oh, hello. His Holiness. Hey, mister, are you the holy guy? Aye, I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, the police has much to worry about, you see. Yeah, whatever. L look, we want to get past this village. Huh. Tradition says that only those who want to go to the ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So what the heck is that ceremony about, anyway? Well, after a man and a woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on a holy they leave on holy pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So basically, it's a wedding and a honeymoon, right? I don't know, your words laughing. We think you understand it. So we can go to the sanctuary if you undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Tagger. So, so yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, it's just, it's just the, the nonchalant way she said, let's do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are today. <laughs> no, it's so dumb. Oh gosh. You say you want to be joined there. The ceremony is only for dwarves, you see. Well, we have so few young folk new days. We're doing to 99 couples. I was wondering about that very thing. Yeah, but what's the harm? Now we can have our 100th ceremony. Uh. <laughs> Dagger? What's going on? <laughs> just, to, just explain yourself. Spirits of the mountain. Spirits of the wood. Uh, now, how are we gonna get into this? What well, sure this man and woman has begun their journey? The ceremony to get past the village. And the only guy and a girl can have the ceremony. So. Now, hold on a second, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage. M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E. No kidding. 
Well, you have to do it to go on, right? Uh, but, uh, yeah, but, but but that's not reason enough. Oh, come on. What is she thinking? She's supposed to get angry and say no way. In sickness and in health. Of course, we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry you through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? And the wisdom to follow the pack. I admit, it was pretty deep that night in the Black Mage village. Maybe that's when she fell for me? I'm such a stud! May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. Dagger! Now we're man and wife! Time for the kit! Idiot! Playing hard together. Happy fit. Now you need to introduce your Johnny to the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? <gasps> you have to follow tradition, lad! Ah oh, well, time for Zulu to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Ah, oh, bless us of later. Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you know, can't just leave us here. So don't worry, I'll figure something out. Oh, let's see. Why don't you guys get married too? What? Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Dagger and I can go announce our marriage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Have the strength, blah blah blah. And the wisdom to follow the path. Uh, may the blessings of heaven be upon this man, dead woman, or whatever the hell queen is. <laughs> Dot. Yeah, I'm so happy. Me too. <laughs> Dot. Thief! What? Oh, oh god, they still remember that. <laughs> Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, Zidane and Dagger. Hello, happy fit. Off the sanctuary, are you then? That's right. Will you let us pass through now? Hello, of course. Safe journey to the both of you. And they only just wander off. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! What? Huh? Hey, wait a minute. I know you. Mark, hurry. Come out. Stop, thief. Stop, thief. What's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. They got away. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait a minute! Is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh my god, this video. Oh my god, this game. Fuck! I don't care, I can't even bother. <laughs> Does anyone live out here? Of course not. It's forbidden. Ah, you two thieves are always snitching food. Oh yeah? I'll catch him next time. I'm getting lightheaded, it's so good. It's so funny. Oh, hi guys. So you've had your ceremony, right? Yeah. Thief have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. But before we press on, I'm gonna go back to the uh, Moogle in that shop and save. So I'll be right back, ladies and gents. Actually, now, now that I've saved, I've actually decided to end the video here. Sorry for the abrupt, like, you know, the cut and everything. But uh, I'll continue this video in... I'll, I'll continue this video in the next video. Real smart, me. I'll continue this... I'll continue where we, from where we left off in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta!